You know, if you're up late tonight, come tomorrow morning, you're going to be dragging. But forget that grande coffee or Red Bull or latte. No, no, no. Now you can get the jolt you need in this one quick shot. Comes in these little nice arrow shot packages. But as ABC2 News' Josie Sturman explains, not everybody is cheering on this brand new buzz. It's the kickstart to your morning and the jolt you need to get through the afternoon. From energy drinks to upscale coffee, these days, caffeine is king. Just to get through my day. I have a tough time getting started in the morning if I don't have caffeine. I'm a traumatic. Towson's Alice Troche says she needs the buzz she gets from downing as many as eight cups of coffee a day. I do like the taste and I like how it makes me feel. But you can get that amped up feeling even if you dump the cup. All you have to do is take a few deep breaths. I read about it on the internet and it just sounded some freaky kind of thing that people were inhaling caffeine. It's now possible thanks to these little green inhalers called Aero Shots. Well, coffee's pretty quick, but this is even quicker. That's because the caffeine crystals inside speed into your system much more quickly than when you drink a cup of Joe. But not everybody's cheering this new quick buzz. Caffeine is an addictive drug. We know that. And the more you take, the more you want. And the more you want, the more you need. Addiction specialist Mike Gimble with St. Joe's sees the potential for abuse with arrow shots, especially among kids who want to keep the party going. And Gimble's not alone. The Food and Drug Administration is reviewing the product after hearing concerns about potential health risks. I think it's very appropriate. Maybe we need warning labels. Maybe we need an age limit. You know, on some of these products. Well, no one's going to do it except the FDA. So open it. Aeroshot's inventor says they're cooperating with the FDA. He says the product isn't marketed for kids and is safe because it contains the same amount of caffeine as a large coffee, just 100 milligrams. Well, I would tell parents, I think the alarm bells really don't ring for caffeine. Dr. Bill Howard, the former ER chief at Union Memorial, knows people can abuse any product. But he says for caffeine to be toxic, you'd need to ingest 8,000 milligrams, far more than most people would ever drink or inhale. That would be, of these error shots, 80 error shots, that would cost you $240 before you got into a toxic range. And forget about trouble. For many like Alice, already addicted to caffeine, it's all about taste, something the Aero Shots just can't offer. It has to be good coffee. Yeah, I'm not going to drink anything. She won't trade her caffeine routine, but says it could be good when she needs a quick pick-me-up. There's definitely room for both. Josie Sturman, ABC2 News.